to the world as it spins up around. Just don't let the spin keep you down. Sing your bright song Cause brighter days will soon be here Take it from me Some days we'll all be free And it won't be long, y'all Take it from me Someday we'll all be free. Good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening, fam. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the mental house with me, your host, Khadija. You know, I don't remember all the words to that song, but you know, one thing in life is certain. Well, this point three. If you born, that's one, you're going to die. And then while you're here, you're going to pay taxes. Unless you find yourself completely off the grid. But let me get serious, you guys. You know, as an elder, now, when I look at what the writers and centuries ago, they call them scribes back then, but they are your authors. Uh, those were your past day authors, um, and they wrote literature, scripture. Some of it that found its way into that Bible, some of it in the Quran. Um, but they were just writers, and one thing that the um, evolved spiritually can do is. They can foresee and they can prophesy some things. And um, the more they tap into that energy, the stronger it becomes. When I look at um, everything that's happened in the last, jeez. You know, I don't even want to go back and say since the uh, inception of Jim Crow, white supremacy, and all the negative connotations that we live and have to deal with in a society. I try to go back to um, just thinking about us as black folk or whatever you want to call yourself and what Jim, I mean, and what uh, Willie Lynch said about us. And in that Willie Lynch letter, he had all these components um, that he identified that would be um, definitely, definitely, they would be successful if they were implemented to the slave. And there was things like pitting the old slave against the young slave. Uh, pitting the light skin against the dark skin. And what he said was, what we want to do is we want to see whatever differences that they have, and we want to magnify it. And we're going to magnify it so huge that these people are going to be so confused. And what we're going to put on them is going to make them diabol diabolically, perpetually miserable not just for 100, 200 years, but for the rest of their existence. Now, whether you believe in the Willie Lynch letters or not, it's totally irrelevant. It's totally irrelevant. But when I look around and being some of the residue from the 60s and 70s, and to see the movement of Ja people, the exodus, and turn around now and see all 
what I'm seeing. I mean, even I can, I'm I'm not even going to blame it on because the young people getting high. Because let me tell you something: the Panthers were started with a bunch of young people getting high. Okay, I'm not saying it's the best thing, and I'm not advocating for you to get high. I'm just saying, what happened to the will to change things? I couldn't even make a video because I thought that our sons, our brothers, our nephews, our fathers will make a stand on Sunday and give us a chance to finally change the whole narrative and have a real discussion about white supremacy. I had that much hope because I've been through a lot. And now what I see, unlike when I grew up, is these men, folk, don't have no testicular fortitude whatsoever. And I don't want to hear nobody coming on here with no comments talking about what women did to these men because, let me tell you something, I as I've been gathering information about this um, for the sports mental health sports. I've been looking at all the athletes that come from a, a two-parent home, not a one-parent home, but a two-parent home, and who had fathers that was active in their lives. And now they're in the NBA making money and they're spreading their seeds all across the United States of America. Anybody know that you can't effectively raise a child that way? I don't give a damn how much money you got. You just asking for a breeding ground of resentment. Okay? You got 20 damn kids and they got 20 damn different mothers. And you think that's any different than a, a baby on the corner? Because you got money? You just a high price slave. And you had an opportunity just like a few years ago when the Clippers had the opportunity to change the course of all of this. See, and the people from my generation... We would have bit. Y'all are the weakest. Y'all are the weakest link. All you know how to do is throw rocks and hide your hands. I'm a 50s baby. I speak it like I see it. Okay? If I'm wrong, I take responsibility for my shit. But y'all, y'all really weak. And you're so weak, I'm ashamed. Because all I keep thinking about is Malcolm and Martin, <sighs> Elijah, <sighs> Amiri Baraka, Stokely Carmichael. What you want? Kwame Touré, H. Rap Brown, Ali Anwar Sr. Reverend Champion. Yeah, Reverend Champion. I don't see that no more, y'all. I don't even see any young people now willing to take a stand and say anything about anything. All they care about is drinking lean and showing off their wealth to people who ain't got shit. Because your counterpart don't give a damn about what you got. As a matter of fact, he made it. He made the stuff that you running around in. You showed me that you just high price slaves. And I'm telling for the rest of us who think that we are going to get any kind of liberation through these uh, sports stars or entertainers speaking up on our behalf, want to know if they woke or whatever. It might be a few, but you can stay. You can forget it. You're on your own. You are on your own. The majority of your people are perpetually miserable. 
and perpetually insane. That's the hardest thing to say. And what's even harder to say is in some cases, some of our young going to have to be dealt with. They're going to have to be eight because they're going to they're gonna thwart any type of movement that can be positive. In fact, they'll be the ones that shut it down with the drugs and the lean and the Percocets and the Mollies and the ecstasy. And they'll be talking about the turn up. When you try to stop people from getting locked on a FEMA camp. Our young people are fucked up. And I'm not saying that to say that I'm better and I'm all that and now because I ain't shit. I'm right here with you. We all in this shit together. But I find it fucked up that I got to carry this type of shit on my back. I want to travel light. I travel light, so I got to throw you off. I got to throw your ass off. And I got to write you off. So, to all of y'all thinking anything, no athlete can speak for you. No entertainer can speak for you. And so, if you're out here buying these Jordans and you're out here buying these people's shoes and clothes and representing and, and buying, you a damn fool. Because they ain't standing up for you. They don't even care about you. They don't care that you are getting shot down in the street. And what's so crazy? They got plucked out of the same streets that you get shot on. And they don't think enough about you to stand up. We are silly, foolish people. And unless we want to get real and talk about this kind of stuff, I don't understand how you think that this government is going to do anything for some people as silly, as silly as the robots that they've made. They've taken the brilliant people and reduced them to ash, to jesters. The clowns in blackface. <laughs> that all they want to do is sing and dance and play sports. And they don't give a damn about the liberation of their babies and they being poisoned. You got people being poisoned in Flint. Babies right now. This is a global genocide apparatus and you bitches can't even stand up to Jerry Jones when he said my niggers will stand my niggers bet my niggers bet not put down no knee my niggers bet not do it my niggers do it they won't play and guess what his niggers didn't do it y'all are sorry sacks of shit and your nicknames is doo doo and I don't care what y'all say and you can be mad at me all you want to and I'm telling you right now, I don't really care enough. You know, if I can't be honest at this age and stage of my life, what am I here for? Y'all have been led completely astray. And it's disgusting. It's freaking disgusting to know there ain't nothing but mouses in the house. That's it. Just mice in the house, and you got all the women out in the forefront, and then you want to complain that they talk too much or they too this when you punks won't do shit. You can't even stand up together, and you don't have to do anything violent. You can't even stand up together and say, We won't even play. And you are the men. You are the men. Somebody done cut y'all nuts off and stuck them down your damn mouth. And the women wear them up here on our chest proudly. Y'all know damn well I'm not saying all men and I'm not saying all women. But what I'm saying is this ship be sinking. And for those of y'all who know what I mean by that, 
let's deal with it. This ship be sinking. All right? All right. I'm out of here. If you like what you hear, please like, subscribe, and share. And I'm going to see you next time right here in the mental house. Bye-bye.